Gilbert. So, yes. Gilbert, you like it at the Palladium. Well, I had nothing else to do. <laughs> Let me just talk here yeah. for a second. Okay, this I'm is sorry. the uh, Gilbert Gottfried just joined Gilbert us. Gilbert Gottfried just joined us. Spike Lee, Spike good Lee to meet you, man. Spike Lee, sitting down to the mic. Spike Lee. How you doing? And this is Robin Spike. <laughs> she likes no, you. Stop it. Yeah, I've been hearing all this stuff. She wants to do you. I do not. <laughs> stop that. I'm sorry. I'm here late. Can you just... Uh... Well, Gilbert, you always wondered who Robin wants. Yes. She yes. told me she wanted Spike Lee, so... Okay. Look, so what do you see in him? What, what do I see in him? I'm looking at Spike. I mean, he's not bad Spike's looking. Spike's a genius. Let's get one of those goatees. <laughs> Come on, but if he was a genius and wasn't successful, would you want him? Yes. Yeah? yeah. You would? It's like you all want these his... girls that want Woody Allen. Isn't you know, it's like, cute? oh, no, yeah. we find him cute anyway. Yeah, right. It's not because Woody Allen's a multimillionaire. Yeah. We you, just think he's cute. You know, me and Farrah had a strange desire to have a mutant's baby. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Spike, you are a good-looking man, unlike Woody Allen. And let me say something. You're fabulous. Thank you. I haven't seen the new movie yet, but I heard this is it. I have. Jigaboos. Yes. Jigaboos and. Uh, wannabes. That's all. The wannabes. The wannabes. Wannabes. I love it, man. You're great. <laughs> swear to God. And yeah. I love black movies. I love when blacks so produce their own movies. This is the best thing to me. I'll tell you why. Because the white man can't portray the black properly. When you think about it, I think about it. You know, with Steven, the exception of Scream, Black Yellow Scream. Well, that was an excellent movie. That was a, that was a rarity. <laughs> but let me yes. say something an about exception. that. Yes. In my estimation. Yes. Even when you take Steven Spielberg, who is a Jew, another Jew filmmaker. He's a Jew and he can't make Jew films. Exactly. Let him go make his own Jew movies. Steven Spielberg knows black nothing movies? about Jews. Let me say something. Oprah is a big fat pig. Have I said oh, that in the last five geez. minutes? And no, Spike, <laughs> would you ever put her in one of your movies? What? Exactly what I thought. <laughs> Look at Spike. He's, Spike's got answer. love in his eyes, for God's sake. <laughs> Spike, keep it in your pants, huh? Spike's in shock. He said, what in the hell have I gotten into Isn't here? Isn't it true that in gym class, when you took a shower, they named you Spike? Oh, Isn't that true? Is that how you got the name? <laughs> Wait a minute. We have showers, not gym. Oprah needs Cinerama, is what she needs. But anyway, what? Cinerama. <laughs> so anyway, let me say something, Spike. Yes. The black man... If I may say so, Wait should make his own movies about black people because if you notice Steven Spielberg, okay, he made the black man look uh, like the bad man in uh, color purple. In, color purple. Thank you, Spike. And Jaws. And Jaws. Jaws. The black man yeah. looked bad too. Do you notice how many black people? Not one black person got eaten by a shark. Yeah. This is a racist movie. What is it? Black people don't taste good. They would like swim around black people. And it was just. It was very racist. Thirty-seven black people in the water. Yes. The shark picks the one white woman with a period. Yes. Oh, for God's stop sake. Stop it. <laughs> Spike. Yeah. Yes. Robin, do you have any questions for Spike? Gilbert, will you be quiet? You're like how big you are? <laughs> Wait a minute. Stop it. No, 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 no. You know I'm something? I'm in awe of him. I can't even talk to him. The minute he came you in, she said, oh. Yes, I did. Where did you see it? I oh. saw it at the opening. I was at the premiere. You yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me say something, Spike. Steven Spielberg was insinuating that blacks could not swim in the movie Jaws. <laughs> oh, stop. Now, I know that blacks are very buoyant. I heard Jimmy the Greek say <laughs> And I disagree. <laughs> the black man is buoyant. <laughs> Is he not? Is he not, Spike? You would know. You're black. Well, give him a chance. Yeah, give him a chance. I'm sorry. Your that. time is up. You know, Spike, you've been black swim. your whole life. You don't have an answer for that? Nah, we can swim. I think they can I swim. Can swim. <laughs> I'm a Python, too. And I'm sorry, but what do we have for him? <laughs> well, we have this luggage to take with you. Spike, how about putting me in a movie? Seriously, as the white man. You've never put a white person in your films, no, have that, you? No, that's not true. No, really? That's racism. No, that's... You gotta look in the back. Way in the back. <laughs> Way in the back. Do you know that Spike made this whole movie on credit cards? No. No, that was Robert. <laughs> that was Robert Townsend. Yeah, what are you saying, you Howard? Know, All black filmmakers look alike. You want to get rid of Robert Townsend because uh, everyone's going around saying, "Hey, yeah, Spike made that on credit cards." It's making Spike look bad. <laughs> Spike, wouldn't you cast Gilbert as a Jew accountant? It's a, it, it would be a hard one for me. I would have to sit at home and work on it. That would be I, a stretch. Yes, it would be a stretch. I'd have to sit and work and observe. Spike. Yes. Does being a movie producer, <laughs> does being a movie producer, make it incredibly easy to get laid? Well, yes. As a matter oh, of fact, Howard. Wait, 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 wait. Spike. How often wait, did you get it? How often? Wait, wait, let me answer that first yes. of all. You know, I have two, two, had two hit films, right? I still can't get behind the bench at the Knicks games. I mean, I'm in the yellow. What is Aww. this? Spike, don't avoid the question. <laughs> the question was, how much did you get it before yeah. you were a movie producer, and how much did you get it after? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm married to cinema. Really? Yeah. See, this is what's keeping us apart. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, I think you can't get it up. You better not stay with us. He had too many dental x-rays, and that's it. Really, he's wrecked oh, he's havoc. married to cinema. 
Alabama. Yeah. Oh, darn. Oh, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, don't you get a lot of women coming on to you now? Now you know you do. Uh, yeah, I'm, Robin? More pop, I'm more popular, but that happens to anybody who becomes successful, you know? Yeah, it didn't right. happen to me. <laughs> you should yeah, Gilbert, Gilbert is the exception. You should have seen Gilbert groveling <laughs> yesterday at the um, at the uh, Palladium here. Yes, I groveled. You did. I Come groveled. on, tell me I more. I did grovel. He was chasing women grovel. with a squirt gun to get yes, there. with attention. a squirt gun. You know, you're like a guy. Huge breasts. You are like a guy yes. in third grade. In third grade? Who, who wants to get a girl and you start get a squirting girl. them with a squirt gun just or to get their attention. Or pulling their pigtails. <laughs> or like just picking up a chair and smacking them over the head with it because I was much on here. I know. Other kids could just like pull their pigtails. I would pick up a desk yeah. and fling it at them. <laughs> and what about Bill Cosby? Has he, ever, uh, has he ever requested a meeting with you, Spike? Nah, he's he's after Eddie Murphy, but he's left me alone so far. So, yeah. uh, so the new movie him. is out. i got to see right. the new movie. Robin says it's phenomenal. I love yeah. it. Don't you know the butt is the dance craze across the nation? You're not even playing that song. The butt? The butt. It's from the I movie. I saw the video. Uh, where did I see that yesterday? The other somewhere. Day. Soul yeah, Train? Somewhere. No, it wasn't <laughs> <a> Soul <laughs> Train. You're, You're terrible. You're not going to see that in any white stations, the it butt. It was a white station. Was it really? I think it was VH1. Really? VH1 is playing it? I think so. Yeah. I can't remember what I'm seeing that on The money cable. worked. <laughs> you paid him. Would you slip some coke? That's the only way to get anything played on VH1, I guess. But you know something? I always thought that black guys told girls to get away from their butts. Or black girls. No, that's Hispanics. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, yes. Spike, don't I'm touch all confused. My butt. Don't yeah. touch my butt. You can touch anything, I'll do anything, but don't touch my get butt. Get your hands off my butt. But Spike. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you love producing movies or what, man? I yeah. saw you in a. I saw you on a thing on HBO. Not, I'm not talking about Robert Townsend now. I'm oh, talking right. about you. They were doing some kind of thing about you being a filmmaker, and they showed you doing like doing the choreography on all the dance segments. And oh, all I wasn't. That. I was just. I wasn't a choreographer on the film. The man's name was Otis Lee. That must have been like a behind the scenes look. Yeah. But uh, I'm very fortunate, Howard, because the thing that makes me the happiest in the world is making films. That's what I'm able to do, and not that many. You have an ex never mind. <laughs> and not that many people you haven't experienced the Chinese Benoit balls when Robin. Uh, <laughs> That will make you a lot happier. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is that not many, you know, most the most part, most people have to get up and go to job every single day of life of their year. Why don't you ask Robin out for a date? Wait, let me finish. <laughs> go ahead, ask her. For the most part, go people go to a job every single day of their life, a job they hate. Yeah. She has double Ds. Oh, stop Spike. it. Never mind your job. <laughs> Talking about a woman I've, here I've heard hot. rumors about Robin. I won't say him on the air. I right. think it's up to her to reveal it. Spike, why don't you take her out to dinner tonight? Slip what are you doing to tonight, her under the table. What are you doing tonight? I am amazingly free. I'm going to the Nick game. Well, I'll go. Robin will go with you. I only got I like two tickets. basketball. Well, who are you taking? A guy? Yeah, we go to all the games. Spike, together. you're not a homo. Oh, are you? Come on, Spike. Spike, you're not a homo, are you? Nah. Role model, remember, role model. Right. Well, what's the deal? Take Robin out. She's got big breasts. I can almost guarantee you she'll go to bed with you. Oh, stop that. That's not In true. In a second. Oh, be second. quiet. You'll probably Gilbert. catch a draft by how fast she rips her drawers up. Incredible. It's an incredible thing. You probably, she'll, she'll rip her underwear off, slap you on the side of the face with it, and just rip one ear off. You know, how you, fast you know what you can do to Robin? You can tie yeah. her panties behind oh, her arms. Oh, stop it. I'm telling Which you, Which is very it. powerful. Is yes. True. Listen Which I agree that. with Robert Chambers no. on that. Yes. There's nothing stronger than a pair of underwear to hold your ribs together. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that story uh, sat well with me. Yes. Yeah. So, Spike, I want to congratulate you on the new movie. Thank you. You're a fabulously talented person. Thank you. And you I'm glad I, you know, everybody keeps telling me, Spike, Robin talked about you on the radio this morning. So She's very attracted home. to you is what we're trying to tell she you. She wants it. it. <laughs> She's loose as a goose. Well, let's get to the point. She wants it. She's willing to put out for you, pal. Go for it. Ask her out. You what are you doing? Do what are you doing Saturday night? Uh, writing the next one. Writing a movie. Robin's a good writer. I can type. <laughs> she can type with her breasts. They got a mind of their own. Spike. How do you? Uh, what do you? What do I have to do? I have to spell it out for you? <laughs> Don't put this kind of pressure on a man, Howard. The woman's waiting to go out with you. What's the matter? I mean, She's certainly attractive. Not, not not once has she ever said, "No, I really want to go out with Gilbert Gottfried on the air." No, I really want to slip it to him. No, no, you could right now, right now, Spike, Robin. How many right times now. could you do it in one night? Oh, stop, so, Howard. Be honest. Put your credentials please? on the table. Stop I know. It, I know one it. of the men that she sees. You oh, want to know how many God. times I can do it in one month? How many times? Well, that's a tough one. It's never <laughs> happened that often. 
<laughs> Thank you, Howard, for embarrassing me totally. And Spike Lee will never forget me now, I'm sure. That's well, what you were hoping for. <laughs> that's what you wanted, and you got it. But uh, Let me talk to Spike and uh, Gilbert about this. Spike, what kind of car are you driving now that you're a successful producer? I don't drive. I don't have a car. I don't have a license. Still so Robin ride. has a car. She could drive. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Still no. riding the subways. Really? Yeah. You sure you want this guy? He's a loser, I think. <laughs> well, I know he's got two movies out, and uh, he's still driving the subways. <laughs> Spike, what the hell's going on? You got any money or what? I got plenty of money. Just have a license. That's all. I see. He's too busy to learn. He's in love with cinema, okay? Yeah. I can't learn to drive, damn it. I'm in love with cinema. I'm blinded by cinema. <laughs> It's like us with our jobs, Ron. We love radio That's so right. much. I'm married oh, to radio. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. Spike, get me in a movie as quick yeah. as you can. Please, I'm a good actor. Yeah. Hey, come on. What about Put him all the way in the back and put me up front. Yeah. Uh, what? What about me in a movie? Well, he How badly you want to get in the movie, Robin? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He went to Roosevelt High School. He's really good at being beaten up by blacks. I'm, I'm perfect at that. Oh, are you from Long Island? Yeah. I'm from Roosevelt, Long Island. I grew up there. I was the only white guy in Roosevelt. Everybody beat him up. All the white family in All the black, yeah. All the blacks beat me up. I lived on Conlon Road in Roosevelt. All the blacks beat me up. The family's still in Roosevelt. They moved out. Oh, are you kidding? I forced them to move out. I was let, my mother was into being a martyr. Oh, we could live with black people. Sure, she could live with black people. She didn't have to go to school every day to get her ass kicked. I'm in school, and it comes over the PA. Martin Luther King has just died. Oh, my God. I grab my books. I book out of the place. I'm getting my ass kicked. I didn't even know half the people who... I mean, what is this? I like Martin Luther King. Don't kick my ass. I'm trying to live with you. For God's sakes. You know, I had a regular sized nose before those kids started beating the crap out of me. Look at it. It's huge. Oh, man, you could cast me in a movie. Just let people choke me. Black people have choked me till, my, till the air has passed out of my lungs. I mean, the movies, he would do that again. He'd I'd do that, that easy. That whole thing. <laughs> Who's this guy who used to steal my salad right off my plate? Tell him about the lunch money. He never got lunch. He used to carry it in my sock. <laughs> I swear to God. And remember, you the had to guy... give it up every, every so, lunch hour. They yeah. used to steal his shoes for it. Well, there was no. one guy. I finally fooled him. Yeah. I said, I'm going to put my money in my sock. He won't get it. So... The guy, the guy saw that. I didn't have any money. Later on, he caught me in the lunchroom, and he found that I had lunch. He just took my whole lunch. <laughs> he That's just all. took my lunch? He just, he just scooped up the salad in his hands and ate it. See? So he can relate. <laughs> you put me in one of those black movies. I'll, I'll let you. I'll give you some performance. It won't be a performance, pal. I'm telling you right now. You put me in one of them wannabe movies. <laughs> I, I want to be in another neighborhood. That's yeah. what he is. No, I went home. My parents were into this whole modern thing mm -hmm. that, um, yes, we could live with black people, and yes, we should, and I should go to school with black people. Fine. It's okay. I went to school with black people. I don't want my ass kicked every 10 minutes. I'm sorry. And quite frankly, if I was in the community, I wouldn't have kicked my ass. I would have gone to, like, Merrick, Long Island, and kicked their ass. They weren't living with black people. That would people. have been dangerous, don't Spike, you think? Spike, would you talk to your black people? you got a microphone. <laughs> Calm them down. They're all out of control. God. I swear to God. And your movies are rousing all the black people up. No, they yeah. haven't, 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 hey, listen, haven't even seen the next one yet. Spike is not <laughs> letting Scott. anyone else speak here. There's no reason why i got to sit around. Too bad, Spike. I can't get a word in edgewise with this guy here. Too bad uh, Spike didn't pick on me in Roosevelt. I could kick his ass. I know that. <laughs> Twice his size. If I can't kick his ass. I don't know, Howard. Oh, people with black skin just frighten me. That's all. Jews with thick glasses used to beat up Spike. This yeah. is how... <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to you. You're not driving a car, Spike. Kids from uh, Hebrew school used to surround Spike. Hey, before Hebrew, let's go up. beat up Spike. Yes. <laughs> Spike, where the hell did you grow up? Kids with pains used to be in Brooklyn? Yes. Yeah. Bedford Stein? In Borough Park. No, uh, downtown Brooklyn, Fort Greene. <laughs> oh, Fort Greene. Uh, my father served there. <laughs> Fort He's Green. one of the few black men who studied Yiddish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Where do you think all the uh, where do you think all the I'll car right dealers? Back. Spike, where do you think all the car dealers? Where are you going, Gilbert? He's going to get some more food, I think. No, oh, go ahead. Go get some food. No, okay. Go ahead. Give Spike a chance to talk. We can spare you for a second, Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert, we could carry the show without you. <laughs> oh, boy. Do me a favor, Spike. Cast Gilbert in a movie. Get him the hell get out of Get him the hell out of New York. <laughs> Cast it somewhere else. Anyway, I want to thank Spike Lee for joining us. I'm glad to be around. Did What's you have the fun? next movie about? Well, it's going to take place in Brooklyn, so, uh. What about me? Well, we're right here, Spike. What are you waiting let me, for? Let me finish writing it first. <laughs> uh, I have a scene where I get my ass kicked. <laughs> Howard, why don't you go see School Days first, then we'll talk. All right, I'll tell you what. Then I'll go blast it on the air Monday morning either, because no, 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 I'm no. going to be listening. Yeah, I'm going to go listen to it. I'm going to go watch it. All right. I actually close my eyes and listen to it. Too many black people scare me. It's <laughs>
<laughs> go, excuse me, back to Roosevelt. Go, go see the quad. You'll be okay with it. That's right. The quad? Yeah. It isn't like the rap movies though, where everyone gets excited. No, no, no killing in this one. Uh, no, okay. I can't handle that. So uh, anyway, Spike Lee, who is a, a genius. Yes. No, uh, I, no, no, no. That's not banding about. Genius. I'm a cinema freak, and I've dubbed you genius. <laughs> and she'll dub you <laughs> with anything else you want. You can pretty much do whatever you want with her, pal. Oh, stop that, she's yours. Howard. And she's an intellectual. You. She's a bright woman. <laughs> Oh, going for white girls now that you're famous, huh? Is that what it is? No, that's Eddie Murphy. No. <laughs> got it mixed up again. Uh, you mean I'm not interviewing Eddie Murphy? <laughs> oh, I thought this was Eddie. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're going to take a break now. All right, Howard. I appreciate Thanks, Spike. it. Thanks, Mike. Great to have you on. All right. All right.